Um, it is uh, a British, a former British colony. It was called Rhodesia. So um, people there, you will find uh, similar to British accents, but uh, it's definitely its own version because it's a combination of African accent and, uh, and English. And so uh, let's see if I can still do this. It would, um, when I would meet people, they're like, Elda, how are you today? Like, oh, I'm fine, sister. How are you? Oh, it is so good to see you. And um, uh, coming from North Carolina, I, I, I didn't quite talk like this, but I, I, would, uh, I would speak and it would, my words would run together sometimes. And it was just, you know, a simple Southern American accent. So going there, no one would be able to understand me because I would speak too quickly in that accent. And so I had to learn to stop and enunciate all of my syllables. And this is how I spoke for two years to the point when I called home uh, for Christmas and my family goes, what is wrong with the way you're speaking? And I went, what is, what are you talking about? You're talking like this. Well, I had to because that was the only way that I could be understood. Um, so I guess when you meet people on the street, you go, hi, how are you? And they say, I'm fine, how are you? And so lots of kids, when they see you on the street, all they've been taught to say is, how are you? And I'm fine. So they'll follow you for 20 minutes. How are you? How are you? How are you? And you go, I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. How are you? Like, okay. All right. This is not getting anywhere, but uh, it's, it's entertaining to see them do that. Sometimes it's frustrating, but most of the time it's entertaining. Um, so it, a lot of the words are, are similar to British words. Like, uh, so we would say cookie, they would say biscuit. Um, I didn't know that the front of the car that I call the hood is called the bonnet. Did not know that. Or that the trunk is called the boot. Um, and so uh, th that took me a little while. Uh, they also drive on the left side of the street in Zimbabwe. Um, so because, you know, it is British. And so that took a little while, especially learning to shift with my left hand when driving. That was interesting because uh, all the cars are manual. Um, let's see, uh, so the, but the language is there that they, and they have other than English. Um, so like when you greet someone, uh, it, I mean, it's a typical conversation. It, uh, just the, uh, I guess the accent is a little bit different. Um, we always loved to, to try and, and do our best President Dubé impersonations and we go, Elders, I want you to know that the gospel is important. And and we, we loved it. And then when he spoke in general conference a couple of, uh, like it was about a year and a half ago now, I think. And he goes, my mother told me. And I just went, yes, it's been so long since I've heard that accent. It made me, I can't tell you how happy that made me. 